Aquarius to your April Astrodice reading. Hope your friend's doing great out there. If your friend's like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best messages coming out. For those of you who are new, this is where I take tarot with astrology and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. Okay, best message coming out. You have some Uranus energy coming out. Some Pisces energy in the second house. Talking about that money. Money, money, money. Show me the money. Okay, so we're here with that Uranus. Your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening. Something awakening in you when it comes to this second house. And Pisces. This energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens to resolve. What kind of issue going on when it comes to the second house? What is this issue? Your assets, finances, and the things that you value when it comes to the second house, right? This is where my money is. This is where my car is. This is where, you know, I have my assets, my finances, my bank accounts, my credit cards, Right, so there is some kind of issue, though, that's going to kind of wake you up to the situation for some kind of sudden change when it comes to that second house. And we also have that solar eclipse coming, too, so it really doesn't really surprise me because it actually can awaken certain situations within us. to the situation, beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month, please. There it is right there. New projects, inspiration, feeling like you're going to have that urge to want to create new things that you're proud of, things that you want to grow with, having new opportunities coming towards you that maybe you hadn't seen before. Somebody might come to say something right, about whatever the situation is, something that's grabbing your attention, something that, you know, it's like, hey, there's that awakening, there's that renewal. This is an Aquarius card, this is the Aquarius planet, right, Uranus. So it's saying, there, here it is, here's that renewal, here's that sudden awareness and that awakening of that rejuvenation of what's going on. Somebody's grabbing your attention, they're saying, here, I got this money, I have this job, I have this idea, do you want to go on this venture with me? Someone is offering you some kind of a stable situation when it comes to the second house, okay? Maybe they're also offering you, you know, this job, this car. Maybe you're getting a good deal. Maybe you're getting something for cheaper. Maybe when waiting for something to be on sale. Hmm? It's an eye-opener for sure, whatever's going on. And it's something that you're going to really enjoy because you're going to, it's, you know, it's going to, make you a little emotional. You have the Pisces energy there. So it's saying, yeah, you know, somebody might even be asking you your forgiveness when it comes to the situation. Forgive me, you know, I should have, you know, done such and such a thing when it comes to our assets, when it comes to our finances. Okay, so it did feel like there was some kind of in overindulgence, some kind of extreme um, or some kind of excessive behavior going on where you might have felt like, hmm, maybe you had to overindulge in a certain, you know, particular area last month and it's saying, you know what, maybe I spent too much money in this area and maybe I'm going to get it back though. So maybe someone's going to come give it back. Or maybe you felt like somebody overspent something. Maybe your husband, your wife, they overspent something. They knew that they overindulged, so they want to come and ask for that forgiveness right? Realizing that they did something wrong. Unpaid debts, one-sided charity. Yeah, there's something that was very unfair about the situation. There's a sudden change in the way that you or they are seeing the situation. And it does feel like, you know what, it, it's coming to the situation to where it's like, you know what, we'll fix this. Don't worry about it, right? There's something coming in that's saying, don't worry about the situation. It was one-sided. It was unfair, of for you to do such a thing. You might even felt like 
somebody sold you something like a couch or the car or whatever and you felt like in the end that they kind of like you thieved me you said that this was going to do this and that was that's not what happened right so you might even felt like somebody stole something from you cheated you out look if you take your car to the garage and they're supposed to fix certain things and they didn't fix it right but yet you paid for it that's theft well, the universe sees it why because you're cheated so they might be coming back maybe you opened your mouth and they said hey you know what yeah you're right that's not running properly let's go fix that so yeah okay so yeah i do see a lot of wishful thinking over here and a lot of choices and a lot of you know searching for the purpose when it comes to the situation i think though when it comes down to that search what you know that situation it's exactly what i was thinking though you know it's like somebody's seen it from a different perspective and they're kind of seeing on your level now i think somebody didn't i think you kind of woke them up and made them see it from your your point of view going to the middle month big month finances give us show us the money Ooh, we got the queen of swords with the king of swords it's a lot of that's a lot of uh communication a lot of thinking a lot of direct communication going on over here uh, and also about saving this money over here so talking about implementing a lot of saved money a lot of you know what i'm gonna keep my money to myself <laughs> definitely keeping the money to myself right do you might feel like your finances are stable due to any kind of, you know, investment that you've been going on through? Okay, so if you've been making any kind of investments, you're definitely stable where you are. This is in the middle, right? So this is saying this is where that is. I like that the star and the king of swords are both in the middle when it comes to each week. I'm really liking that because that's saying you're spending smartly and expecting, right, and expecting others to do so as well. So like I said, if you felt like somebody else was taking advantage before, now with the queen of swords you know it's almost like well they're okay now right because no matter what you're comfortable you're sitting on your 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 eggs over here right you're nesting and you're doing a good you know very good um so everything is just really coming together i just can't really it's like you're avoiding any kind of temptations not allowing anybody maybe they're avoiding if you're you're married maybe the queen of swords over here whoever your spouse is maybe they were tempted to fiddle around with the money and, and go out and spend again. And they're like, nope, I'm, I'm being cool about it. <laughs> right? Like, seriously. Okay. So, but there's a lot of need and not a lot of comfort and confidence going on as you're really holding tight to your money. It's almost like I know what I have and I know what I'm going to save over here. So I feel very secure. So there's the security. You definitely have the security in the mid-month and you're going to really feel that. Okay, because you have all the control. So you could feel like, you know what, my resources are here. This is where I have the monetary power, right? And uh, there's no, you know, there's no room for any nonsense when you have the four of pinnacles. Okay, there's just not. Because it's all about power and great responsibility. So there is nothing there that says, you know, that they're going to be messing around. So you don't feel like you're going to have any incidences. And if you feel like this person over here and who needs to fix this, who they, you, they thought they were getting away with something, um, they're definitely going to go fix this now and not screw around. Okay. Because they're getting, you're finally getting your fair settlement over here. Everything's very fair. Well, good thing. So thank God for that, right? So clarify on the situation, please. Yeah, you feel like you're you're just satisfied with everything that's coming through. And there's going to be a lot of gratitude coming in as well. I'm just going to pick the one card because it feels like the, with the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords, that all it is is the really just this gratitude and this emotional stability coming through where everybody is just feeling content, right? There's no more, because there's no more nonsense, right? So it's like, why is there no more nonsense? 
because they've accepted what they need to accept and they understand that they need to go and fix what needs to be fixed and you understand that you know what this is where everything was coming together this is where i said i'm holding on to this and everything's moving in the direction that i wanted it to move in so therefore i'm not having any more you know there's no more misunderstandings to this situation so you're going to feel like you're kind of free right now that's good though so that's just going to bring in this freedom it's going to bring in this total just kind of just calmness which is good anyways right super good that's where you want to be yeah. okay so at the end of the month in the second house you could be feeling very inspired about some things though too so if you're you know, selling things online or doing something like that. You might even be inspired to want to create new things to sell. Like some of you might, you know, maybe you sell things on Amazon or who knows, right? Having your own little market or something. It just feels like you might pick up new ideas and explore new ideas and new hobbies and new things going on that, you know, will get people's attention. Maybe some of you sell stuff at the swap meet. So maybe you're picking up other things and then trying to, you know, get an extra buck for something and the end of the month the end of the month there is a lot of a celebration a lot of joy going on over here i see a lot of going out a lot of community collaboration um yeah a lot of you know things could be going out with your friends your family but there's a lot of joy and happiness and a lot of sharing so and like i said if you are picking up some other things to sell right in this area you're going to realize that how it's blossoming around you right these new ideas these new things coming in for you feeling like you're a lot more sociable too at the end of the month um than maybe you had been for a little bit of time so maybe you were kind of hermiting out a little bit but now you feel like it's time to really become that social butterfly card of social butterfly my friends always remember that right because that's really what it is it's a time of giving and a time where your energy levels Keep you inspired to wanting to get out there and build those friendships, have those social gatherings, have fun. Okay, so it's almost, you know, and when we're talking about the second house, it's kind of like you might not have won the lottery. Okay, but you can finally enjoy the financial fruits of your labor. That's really what that is when it comes to money. It's that feeling of, shit, I won the lottery. It's kind of that overall feeling, right? Where it's like, shit, things can't, you know, I'm just like, whoa. So things are really coming in and really picking up for you. And I really do believe it's because of the page of wands over here. Whether someone came in with some kind of exciting news, you know, to help your, you know, to help you out or whether or not you went out, like I said, and found all these new hobbies, these new ideas and all these new things coming through. Um, it definitely has thrown in um, this really happy, I don't know, energy. Something just really kind of picks you up and draws you. And it could even be drawing other people towards your business. It's like you launched into some kind of entrepreneurial um, creative endeavor. I don't know. That's like really what it is. It's kind of like, okay, if I run this channel, if I run this channel and you know, you know, we do the beginning of the month, middle of the month, you know, and all of a sudden we're doing this Astrodice, bam, it could throw me out there, right? Because no one else does Astrodice but me. You see what I'm saying? So it's that head start, it's that boom. Now I'm gonna throw myself out there and I might be doing something that no one else has thought about doing. Maybe they did do it years and years and years and 10 years ago or something, but then they stopped. So now I'm getting my foot through the door because I'm doing something that no one's seen for a while. Maybe you're gonna open up, you know, oh my God, it's like opening up a soda, a soda fountain, you know, which is like a malt shop. I keep telling people, you know. I used to say it when I know about 11 or 12 years ago, I used to always say, you know, I'm going to open up a malt shop I'm going to open up a soda fountain. But I do remember that they did do that. It <clears throat> where I grew up, it didn't go over very well. I guess the time and age was kind of, they needed to do something else besides just have a soda fountain. I think that was the thing. Nobody just wants to sit around and drink soda like that. But like the fifties, it was awesome, but you have to incorporate new things for keep, you know, for people so maybe it's like you built a candy shop now that'll always go over the kids no matter what right especially before the soda fountain but it's like if you have the soda fountain i think you're gonna have to have i know they used to have hamburgers and stuff too you know 
<clears throat> but it just it have to be something that's really going to be catchy, something that does something different, right? And that's what it feels like, like somebody's bringing something in, and this is not for everybody, but it's almost like somebody's bringing something in that says, yeah, that'll work. That's going to bring extra. That's why I said you might be going to the swap meet and picking up different things and then selling them in different areas. Things that people haven't seen for a while, maybe like comic books or something. Who knows? Okay, so, but yeah, there was a lot of, some, oh my gosh, hold on. All the self-doubt that was seeming that there could have been some kind of self-doubt or self-awareness um, of this situation has really turned everything around. I think that there was a time that you didn't realize, you know, what the calling could have been, how it's going to bring it out, how much the Four of Pentacles was really going to take this solid foundation and really throw it. But it was, though, because of the beginning of the month, right? So no matter what, you still have the Ace of Pentacles. However it was, it was almost like, man, I'm telling you, whatever happened over here, it brought everything, it brought everything together. Even people that thought that maybe you weren't, this wasn't going to come together, they're realizing how much it has come together and how your finances are really building and how you're really getting solid over here. And for those of you who are running some kind of business, the passion is just building, building, building because you found something new. You found something enjoyable. You found something, and it might have been something you've even been reminiscing about for a while that you've wanted to add to, you know, to your second house. And it might even be that you picked up, maybe you saved enough money to pick up that new couch, to pick up that new bed, to pick up that new car, right? And then for others of you, you know, maybe it's just that remnancy of getting that stuff fixed. Like I said, because for some of you, somebody up here was messing around with money or messing around with, you know, your car or something. So however it is, it's just finding that everything is coming together and you're going to feel very, very well. You're very stable, very well put together. Yeah. It was a time that it felt like you were carrying a lot of burdens, but now you're going to find that there's a lot of inner strength. You might have some arguments about the the second house, like I said. We talked about that over there with the Queen of Swords. But it just feels like no matter what's going on, they're going to pretty much see it your way. Unpredictable things. And that's because of that sudden change. There is a huge sudden change in the way everything is going your way. You're going to have some kind of download about money. Sit back, you know, meditate and relax and, you know, listen to what, you you know, your mind has to say. Because no matter what is going on over here, whether you even have an overactive imagination, doesn't matter because it's bringing something to the table that is changing everything around, right? It's changing everything around, and you can see that with the world. So even where you felt like maybe it could have been down and out or this isn't going to work, you're realizing, well, where I thought might have not been... When I wasn't sure if I could trust that situation, it surely has... There's something you're definitely exploring. Something's definitely coming in. And if you wanted to ask if, you know, that thing's on sale, something's going on sale, you know, something is working in your favor. So a lot of improvements and stuff that are going on over here. I would call around if you're looking for that car to be on sale because I'm telling you right now, there it is. Boom. At the end of the month, it's all coming in, right? When you thought that nothing was going to work in your favor. That's, it's kind of crazy, but that's exactly what it's saying. It's saying where you're seeing the setbacks and where you think that things are not going to come in your favor, it's all in your favor. You just have to put the extra work in to find, yeah, to focus on where it is. You'll know what it is, right? But you have to focus on what it is and where it is. But you're going to, you are, you're going to have to explore Explore your ideas, exploring other places, you know. Well, that's an amazing reading, guys. I really like that. Okay, until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.